In this video, I'm going to show you how to program a BooBox 4. In this demonstration, I'm going to use four simple lights to demonstrate the four outputs of the BooBox 4. These lights are like regular household lights. They have a plug on them. And when you plug them in, they turn on. And when you unplug them, they turn off. I'm going to modify the cable here. And as you can see, the cable actually has two wires which are fused together with plastic. I'm going to take my knife and split those two wires apart. I'm going to take one of the two wires, doesn't matter which, and I'm going to cut it. And I take those two pieces that I've cut and strip them. Now I'm going to take those two pieces that I cut and stripped and I'm going to insert them into the Boo Box 4's Now I plug the power cable into the power strip. And now I can press record on the Boo Box 4. The record light will come on. I can press the number one button to turn that light on and off. The outputs on the Boo Box 4 can handle up to 5 amps. It supports AC and DC devices. For example, you can use a power pack and a DC solenoid, or a power pack and any other DC device. And you can also use AC devices such as the lamp I'm using now. Off camera, I'm going to hook up three additional lights and put all four in an enclosure so that I can demonstrate the programming of the four outputs. So here we have the box with the four lights in it. Each light is wired up internally to go via the Boo Box 4 and over to the power strip. I also have a horn speaker set up over here. The time to record animation is once all the sounds have been input into the Boo Box 4. Make sure when you're done recording audio that you remove the recording cable from the line in jack. If this cable is still in the line in jack, you can't record your animation. The Boo Box 4 has three scenes you can record animation for. Scare inputs 1 and 2, and the ambient scene. The ambient scene loops while the Boo Box 4 is waiting to be triggered. Useful if you are using the Boo Box 4 to control a prop, and you'd like the prop to be making some subtle movement while it waits for the main show. The first thing we need to do is select a scene that we're going to record. Hold the record button down until the lights start flashing. And while still holding the record button down, select the scene you'd like to record. I'm going to press number one to record number one scene. The selected scene will now be recorded each time you press record. So now I'm going to record a scene. I press the record button and you'll hear the sound for that scene start to play. You press the one, two, three, and four buttons to make the four devices turn on and off. You can do these in any combination or together. When you're all done recording your scene, simply press the record button again to save it. To preview a scene, you can trigger the inputs, or you can press the numbered button for the scene that you want to play back. Since we just recorded scene one, I'm going to press button one. And as you can see, it plays our scene back exactly as I had recorded it. An important note, you must record animation for the ambient scene even if it's blank. Otherwise, the ambient sound will not play. So to record a blank program into the ambient scene, I'm going to hold down record until the light blinks and then select number three, which is the ambient scene. I'm then going to press the record button, and you'll hear the ambient sound start to play. I'm not going to press any of the numbered buttons, because I don't want it to do anything with the ambient scene. I'm going to hit record again. Now we've saved a blank ambient scene. So to quickly review, we hold down the record button until it blinks. 
Then select the scene one, two, or three that we want to record on. Hit the record button, record that scene. Hit record again to save it. To record scene two, we hold down record again until it blinks. Press two. Press record to record that scene. Press record to save it. And finally, to record scene three or the ambient scene, hold down record until it blinks. Press three. Press record. Record the ambient scene.